Hi, for this video, what I want to do is show you how to evaluate exponential expressions. For this one, I am going to show you how to plug it into a calculator, and some of them I'm also going to explain how to do it by hand. The calculator that I will be using is the TI-84, but you can use any calculator in order to solve these problems. So for the first one, 3 squared, this one is very basic to do on your own. You could just do 3 times 3, which is 9, and then you'd be done. If you wanted to use your calculator for this one, you would just hit 3, and anytime you're squaring, you can hit this X squared button over here. And just hit enter and you can see that it does give us 9. For the second one, this one is a little more challenging because it's to the 2 thirds power. And so I just wanted to talk to you again about what this means. Anytime that you have a denominator, that means that it's a root. So we're taking the third root of 64. So we're trying to figure out what number would I multiply it by itself three times in order to end up at 64. And then we are squaring that answer. So the third root of 64 gives us 4, and then we would square 4, which gives us 16. So if you are struggling with doing this on your own, you can always go into your calculator, and you would just put it in as 64. You would use this caret button. Uh, if it does not put it up here, and it just puts a value next to it, make sure that you put it in parentheses. Because my calculator adjusted it up to the top, I don't have to put it in parentheses. So we would do 2 divided by 3, and we can see that it does give us 16. Okay, 4 to the negative 2 power. Remember that a negative exponent means it's dividing. So this is really 1 over 4 squared. So we would end up with 1 16th. So with this one, depending upon how you are asked to put your answer, if they say uh, leave it as a decimal, then you would just plug it into your calculator and put it as 0 0.0625. If it wanted it as a fraction, you can use the math answer as a fraction button and it will convert it into a fraction. All right, for these, because they are both irrational answers, you are going to have to use a calculator for this one. So for this one, you would just take 3.2 and then use the caret key to the 2.14 power. Oops, the wrong button. And you can see that it's approximately 12.0509.4082, and this will continue out forever and ever. I recommend it rounding to a minimum of three decimal places. You can always go to four just to be a little bit on the safer side, but I always go at least three places. So for this one, I end up with approximately 12.051. And that would be your answer. For this one, remember that E right here is Euler's number. And it is not, it is not a variable. So this is something that is programmed into your calculator. Every scientific calculator, even your cell phone calculator does have it programmed in there. So all you would have to do for this one is just do five times. For this calculator to find e, you would just do second natural log, and you can see that it's e to the x power up here. And so we would do 5 times e to the negative 1.45, and you would hit enter. So for those of you that aren't familiar with e, you can also find it above the divided sign, so if I just want one of them, I can see that e is approximately 2.718281828, and it continues on forever and ever. This is a value that we use a lot in algebra. So anytime that you see an e and you're working with exponential functions, they are asking you to use the e in your calculator. Okay, so for this one, we get approximately 1.173 would be our final answer. So this is a very simple process. If you're using your calculator, all you have to do is plug it in. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you would like me to cover, please let me know that as well.